And what is going on, everybody? I'm Sigurd Toaster here, and today we are doing episode two of Pixel Car Racer Builds. It is currently 10:34 as I'm recording this. Uh, today it's a it it's not as popular as my last Pixel Car Racer build. That was the Eclipse. That was a very well-known car. This one, there was three of them in the first Fast and Furious movie, but. It's not as big as an icon as, say, the Supra, the R34, or the Eclipse. It is the Heist Civic. Well, one of them, at least. Since, like I just said, there was three of them. So, what you're gonna need, other than this whole, whole list of parts that I have written down right here next to my recording station, is $451,390. But I'd recommend you get at least 455 You know, just in case prices fluctuate as the game progresses and updates and things like that. But as of right now, all this technically cost $451,390. The car itself cost $3,000. Which is pretty cheap compared to most of the parts on this list. So let's just buy that. Let's name it. Alright, we'll just name it Heist. There's a there's sirens outside. Probably just an ambulance or something. Give me a second. Alright, they passed. So what you're gonna need to do now is go to the parts store. Uh first of all we're gonna get the ECU. The the first one with two-step is fine. It doesn't even need to have two-step, but since I like the two-step and I like to tune it, I bought the one with two-step. It'll save you $3,000 if you don't get two-step, but seeing how everything's way more expensive, $2,000 really isn't going to do you much. So you don't want to buy that. Let's move this. I really should start doing that at the beginning of the video. Alright, now what you're going to need next is the light bulbs, since most of the heists are at night. Lug nuts, which really isn't important. Now what you're going to need is an aired out roof rack. Even though it's not a roof rack, it's a sunroof. But if you watch the movie, you'll understand why I'm putting this. Alright, next what you're going to need, you're going to skip over all these headlight tints. And actually, you're going to get out of this because I forgot I didn't put a hook on this. Now for nitrous, I recommend just a 50 shot, but you don't actually have to put one. I don't think they had NOS in those cars, but I just bought the 50 shot. For wing, this is going to be an expensive one. It's $150,000. It's the ghost wing. The video I watched on how to build this recommended that wing and the body kit that I put on. Everything else I did myself. Now what you're going to need is the VX Type in Black Edition Intercooler for 9000 You're going to skip over the motors. You're going to go straight to brakes. I recommend just getting the red ones. The, the classic Brembo style red brakes. For exhaust, it really doesn't matter. You can get the cheapest one, but I put the Flow S just because it adds 10 more horsepower. And for the wheels, you're going to want the Gen Key. FPF1s, which are $3,250. But remember, the rims are extra glitchy in this game for some reason. You're going to want the VX Slam, since the cars are pretty low. That's $120,000. I recommend just putting on the red ones, just because why not? For tires, it really doesn't matter, so I put semi-slicks since it gives it a little bit more meat onto the rims where the low pros they make it look stupid so 4000 for paint you're you're not going to want the outer space one you're going to want the actual like black you're not going to want to do outer space cuz it has a little bit of it just looks a lot different that's $1300 I don't know if the cars had turbo, so I just had the $500 T28. For the intake, I put the red one just because, you know, why not? $4,000, but you can easily just put on the $200 one, doesn't matter. 
For pistons, I put the cheapest one, the $1,500 Pro Lights. Man, I am out of breath today for some reason. Alright, for the body kit, you're going to want the BN body kit. It lowers the body lines quite a bit. And for seats, you're just going to want the power, the max power lights. And $451,390 spent. Now let's get to building. If you want to take your car, you're going to want to start off at the top. I didn't put a decal, so I'm not going to do that. No headlight tints, but the air out because, you know, Vin needs somehow some way to get out onto the trucks. If you watch the movies, that made sense. You're going to want the wing. And then you're going to want the seats. You slap on the front bumper. The side skirts. And the rear bumper. You're going to want to paint the car black. Now, I didn't buy an engine, but you can buy a K20. I have the K20 currently in my CRX. But you can put the K20. It really doesn't matter. I don't think they had VTEC in the movie. You're going to want to put on the rooms. The NOS, like I said, is totally optional. So is the turbo. The suspension, you're going to want to put that on. And then instantly tune it to 4.5 so you don't forget. And then the tires. Adds a little bit more meat than the low pros, like I said. I'm not showing it to you right now, but just believe me. You put on the brakes. And then you put on the max air intake. And you put on the ECU with the two step. If you have if you bought the one with two step, you're gonna want to put it to seven thousand just be or seven thousand five hundred. Or six thousand five hundred. Between six thousand five hundred and seven thousand five hundred. Whichever one, whichever you want to put it, you can put it to seven, seventy one hundred or sixty nine hundred. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I don't think they had two step. That was optional. And you're gonna want to put it on the pistons real quick. Right now you're at four hundred and twenty horsepower. A. Then you're gonna want to put on the intercooler. That's four hundred and eighty five horsepower. And then you're gonna want to put on the exhaust. You're making around five hundred and seventeen horsepower. If you want to be extra with it, and you have the diamonds to buy it, well, in the game, you do a custom decal, and you take the whole bottom, and you just run a green light along the bottom lip right there that the BN kit added. Uh, it just makes it look like it has underglow, you know what I mean? Or like, the, at least the bottom half of it. Don't put it on the whole thing, I, no, I don't recommend that. Unless you like want to be extra. I mean not like extra but like. Unless you want it to be prominent. Otherwise just put it like a little strip on the bottom. To make it look like it's coming out from underneath the body kit. Now you have just built yourself the heist civic from Fast and Furious. Now let's go see what it does. On the quarter mile. The half mile. And oh you know what let's do it on the dyno too. Right now, it is saying it's at making 517 horsepower, but I highly doubt that. Let's see what the dyno says about that. Without nitrous. You're actually making 529 horsepower out of this, I think, D16. I don't think it's a B, I think it's a D16. Not, I don't think it's a B16 as in boy, B. I think it's a D16 as in dog, D. So, 528 horsepower, 303 foot-pounds of torque. Both at, oh no, torque is at 10 RPM less. 20 RPM less. So that is quite a bit more than I expected because I thought it was going to be under 500 actually. 
it's actually more than it says right here. Which, by the way, does nitrous add to that number? Let's see if I was gonna take it off. Nah, it just messes with the with the level it at. It, it takes it from 264 to five to 256 so let's go see what it does on the half mile I meant not half mile quarter mile man I am really out of breath today I don't know why what tournaments does this qualify for oh it qualifies for the first one so I guess I'll do that one let's do night since that's where all the civic action happened So it does, it's it's mid tens. If you shift it a little better and you launch it a little better than I just did, you could probably get it in the nines if you're like really good. And if you tune it correctly. Which I never tune the cars, so I could be running on the worst tune I could put on this car and it's still running tens. So let's see what it does in the half and mile let's do the mile first just in case i decide not to do the half mile since we're already at 12 minutes into the video and i still want to do the tournament you know what nah let's skip the whole mile and half mile in general let's just do the tournament it's only 50,000 and in this game i got no love that one second all right so i guess it doesn't matter if you have your phone on airplane mode or not you're still gonna get ads, so, you know. If you're a developer in the game, and you're watching this right now, please fix that, because I'm trying to make videos, not trying to watch ads. Fix. Not trying to be new or anything. So it's funny because I'm actually in golf right now, and if you follow my Instagram, you know that my Volkswagen just got crashed into, and since it got hit in the back, the trunk's fully crushed in, and it makes it look like a golf. So, uh, kind of a kick in the pants right there racing that car, but whatever, I don't care. Ooh, a hatchback Honda. Alright, Honda versus Honda. I love Honda races, just because, you know, Hondas can actually make some pretty good power. Uh-oh, I shifted wrong. I shifted wrong and I cost myself the tournament. Alright. Alright, yeah. I'm still used to my Camaro, which is weird because I just raced twice without doing it. Alright, okay. I just lost to another Honda. Whatever. I lost $10,000 out of that. Let's go win a race before I finish this, just so I don't end on a bad note. Let's do a manual quarter mile in the day. Just so it's easier to see. What is that? What am I racing against? I honestly have no idea what that is. If you know what that is, if you're from a different country or if you recognize it, tell me down in the comments because I honestly have no idea what that is. Look at that. 
10.371. If you put a little bit more upgrades and if you tune it, then you can easily get it into the nines. That's the thing I love about Honda. They can make some pretty good horsepower. They can make some pretty good time when it comes to the track. And they're light. Yeah, let's do one more race real quick just to see if I can get it. If I can get a crate. Actually, you know what? Let me pause the video so I can get to the crate real quick. Alright, well, I guess I had to do two races. So, you know what? Let's just let let's just let you watch this one against a BRZ. To prove to all you butthurt BRZ fans that a Honda Civic can beat you. A Honda Civic. I'm sorry, I'm just not a huge fan of the FRS BRZ or GT86. Just not a huge fan, I'm sorry. I even have a friend that owns one of them and I'm just not a fan. Not, not because it's not a, not because it's a bad car or anything. It's just they're everywhere and they're all modified the same, and it's just not what I like. If you if you like it, if you like it, all power to you. I don't like you. Uh, I, well, I do like you. It's not you that's the problem. It's your car. I'm sorry. I'm just not a huge fan of the car. I mean, don't get me wrong. When I first saw it, it was beautiful. It still got beautiful lines, but man, they're everywhere. You can't even scroll through the car section of Instagram without seeing a thousand of them. At least Hondas. Everyone modifies different Hondas. There's only one generation of this, you know, FRS. All the FRS, BRZs, and GT86 are modified exactly the same. Where Hondas, they have different, you know, looks to them and different body kits. Where all of them just, where all the FRS, BRZ guys just decide to put the same body kit. I'm just saying. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like you all in general, just not the car. Like, don't get me wrong. One of my favorite YouTubers is uh, TJ Hunt, and he owns one of them. So it's not the person. It's just the car itself. So don't get offended, please. Please don't unsubscribe, too. Just saying. So let's see how much that rim was before I take off in, in this video here. Ooh, 26,000. Cool. I guess that's going into my next my next build cuz it's probably going to be the Civ uh, not the Civic. It's probably going to be the Supra and just thinking about that makes my in-game wallet hurt. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me in the comments what you like to dislike the video. Also in the comments, tell me any questions, comments or concerns you have for me the channel, the videos, the game, my content, etc. If you also have any ideas for videos I can make, go ahead and tell them to me because I will I will love to hear what you guys want to watch. Because it makes my job so much easier to put out content that you guys actually want rather than putting out content that I think you want. You know what I mean? Um, hit that subscribe button to... Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when I do some post a video. Because apparently the subscribe button is very, very broken. But, I, I guess that's it. Here's the end of the video. I hope you liked the video. And thanks for watching.